Hi everyone, hope you're well. Now we're looking at vitamin D3 cholecalciferol. Now vitamin D3 people always refer to as the sunshine vitamin and we get it from the sun. We don't get it from the sun, we get it from UVB radiation waves from the sun into our skin and it gets metabolized in various different pathways to vitamin D3. But I won't go too deep into that right now. But one of the things we're looking about with vitamin D3 again is its functionality with the immune system. So we're just looking at vitamin C with the immune system. Vitamin D also works with the immune system function as well. One of the exciting things about vitamin D3 is it works with the immune system response. So people with um, lowered immune systems respond very well with vitamin D3 supplementation. It enhances and increases the oxidative burst potential of macrophages. So our immune system sometimes as part of its process, excretes these different chemicals as part of its, you know, killing factor, if I can call it that. And with that there, it, vitamin D3 enhances that response. It also supports a Th2 mediated anti-inflammatory cytokine profile. So we're looking at the other B vitamins and vitamin C looking at a T1 mediated response. In this case, we're looking at a Th2 mediated response for anti-inflammatory pathways cytokines. Vitamin D3 is involved with absorption and metabolism of calcium, calcium homeostasis, phosphate metabolism, and then we're looking into the bone metabolism, differentiation of cells, so I always think about it as vitamin D for differentiation and overall metabolic function. So vitamin D has a wide range of different applications and a lot of cells in the body, a lot of body systems have been found to have vitamin D receptors. So we're still learning a lot about how vitamin D3 works in the body and its different functionalities. And I'm quite excited to see the research that's going on. Um, vitamin D dosage ranges. I tend to start around about, depending on the person again, 200 IUs, international units, 500 up to 1,000 a day. I don't go too high with a lot of nutrients, as you can see, um, because we're looking at the functionality of the person, not just a single nutrient, but how that person works with those nutrients. So vitamin D3, think of it as D for differentiation and think about all those different metabolic pathways and processes. What is differentiation? What does it mean? Is it the cell behaving and working the way it should be? That's the D, D for differentiation. So it's quite exciting, like I was saying, lots of research coming through. So stay tuned for more.